Module 4, Open Water Advanced Maneuvering. Before beginning your on-water course, you should have completed the safety briefing and pre-departure checklist. Additionally, in accordance with the Sea Scouts guidelines, each scout must obtain a valid boat operator certificate before operating a powerboat. You must maintain a ratio of one trainer to no more than four students. All students will demonstrate each maneuver, so rotate students after each section before moving on to the next maneuver. It may be necessary for some students to practice each maneuver more than once before advancing. Before progressing to open water maneuvers, your student will have demonstrated the maneuvers in close quarters with confidence. It is not uncommon for a student to repeat Module 1 and 2 before progressing to open water maneuvers. Assessing the confidence and abilities of your students accurately will ensure a safer boating experience. For Module 4, Open Water Advanced Maneuvering, it is important for you to have knowledge of your boat, including how it reacts in different situations, to safely teach boat handling. A skilled operator is not only familiar with the specific characteristics of the boat's response, but also knows the boat's limitations in varying weather and water conditions and can predict how the boat will respond. In this module, students will focus on maneuvers in open water, including operating the boat on plane, urgent stops, avoidance turns, and man overboard retrieval. Make sure everyone is wearing a properly fitted and fastened life jackets and all the navigation rules and safety practices are being followed. This module presents skills in varied environmental conditions using a variety of boat types which are unlikely to all exist during a course. Given the variables of weather, wind, current, and facilities, it may be necessary for the instructor to adapt or alter the skill's progression. If the day of the course is breezy, the calm condition skills must be adapted or omitted. Likewise, if there is no wind or no current, some skills must be altered or omitted. As the trainer, it is your responsibility to confirm the boat operator has properly attached the ECOS, or engine cutoff switch. You will have to complete this task anytime the boat operators switch out. If for any reason the ECOS is removed, the propeller will stop. Stand next to your student as they take the boat operator position. It is important to train the students on the importance of using the ECOS and how it saves lives. In preparing for departure, refer to the preparation list found in Module 4. These are tasks in addition to your pre-departure checklist. 1. Recognizing plowing mode. Using the RPM gauge, have each student find the speed at which the boat transitions from displacement to plowing before maintaining plane. To maintain boat control, this position is to be avoided as much as possible. 2. Transitioning to and from planing mode. Your goal is to reach minimum planing RPM. Have each student increase the throttle past displacement mode until the bow lowers and the boat is on plane. Then, have the student gradually back off the throttle while still keeping the boat on plane. If the bow rises, slowly increase the speed again until the operator finds the minimum speed to achieve planing mode. Have each student announce the RPM. While gradually increasing or decreasing speed, each student should announce coming up or coming down to warn passengers to hold on. Each student on the vessel can participate by maintaining a proper lookout in between rotation at the helm. 3. Boat and engine trim in planing mode. Once all the passengers and gear are weight distributed around the vessel, use the trim tabs and engine trim to correct the boat list. 4. Steering straight in planing mode. Have each student maintain the minimum RPM for plane. 5. Turning in planing mode. Make sure that each passenger and all gear are secure before attempting this maneuver. Progressing through this exercise, each student will demonstrate a wide and tight turn while maintaining minimum plane RPM. 6. Crossing waves in planing mode. By this point, you are creating your own wave slash wake. Have the students cross at a 45 degree angle, then steer back towards a fixed object. 7. Stopping in planing mode. Each student will demonstrate a gradual and urgent stop from minimum plane RPM. Before each rotation, ensure that all passengers and gear are secure. Remind the operators to count to five when shifting from the neutral position to an opposite gear. Forward, neutral, one, two, three, four, five. Reverse, neutral, one, two, three, four, five. Forward. Eight, avoidance turns, S turn on plane. Each student will have demonstrated this maneuver in displacement mode before progressing to planing mode. Ensure that all passengers and gear are secure. Emphasize that overcorrecting by turning the wheel too sharply can cause the boat to side slip at the stern, spin out. Using a floatable, throwable device as your object, have each student demonstrate avoiding the object. 
9. Emergency stop, L-turn from plane. This stop may be necessary if the boat operator is suddenly headed towards a rock wall, for example. It is critical that students not exceed minimum plane speed. This maneuver has the potential to toss a passenger overboard, so ensure that all passengers are holding on tightly before each demonstration of this maneuver. 10. Person overboard retrieval. Using a floatable seat cushion as your person, the instructor tosses the cushion overboard and announces man overboard. While the operator turns the boat to retrieve the person, the other students can keep a watchful eye on the cushion and any possible boats in the area. You've successfully completed Module 4, Open Water Advanced Maneuvering. If your students have demonstrated the skills with confidence, they have successfully passed the Sea Scouts Power Boating Endorsement. Thank you for your commitment to training scouts with essential boat handling skills to help encourage a lifestyle that sets safety as a priority. A confident boater is a safer boater.